So we are already getting some leaks and rumors about the next iteration of iPhones, which are the iPhone 15s. So this is actually pretty insane. Last year, if you remember, we got a ton of leaks and rumors even before the iPhone 13 came out. But now it seems like there's going to be a little bit more of a push of what Apple is going to be doing in the future, basically. Now, there's already been a few articles. This one from Mac Rumors is stating that pretty much Apple is going to focus in on their pro lineup and make that lineup as great as possible. And they are pretty much going to make sure that their standard 14 and 14 plus you know options aren't as great as the pros which is kind of obvious if you look at the past few years that's basically what apple's always done but they have this specific year made a big change into focusing on their pro models and making those have crazy more features than their baseline models now we're rewind back a little bit back in 2019 and when apple made the iphone 11 that iphone in my opinion was probably a better iphone than the iphone 11 pro in terms of performance it was better in battery life it was better the only thing i kind of liked in was the display in the camera but internally they had the same exact chipset same exact clock speeds and the same amount of ram as well and that iphone i think was perfect but now apple's going to go ahead and make sure that you want the pro models now from what i've seen i think with the iphone 14 pro and with the standard iphone 14 and 14 plus these iPhones are going to have the exact same build quality, same exact displays, same exact everything probably for the next few years. If anything, maybe the iPhone 14 will have a little bit of a smaller notch, maybe something along those lines. But for the most part, I can almost guarantee you that the iPhone 14 Pro is probably still going to have that dynamic island display. So it's going to be that, you know, beautiful display on the top, but if anything, maybe it'll get a little bit smaller. That's something I could totally see happening in the future. But for the most part, I'm 99% positive Apple's going to go ahead because they've sunk so much money into the marketing of that dynamic island. They've now made it kind of a feature, which is cool. And they've also spent all this time rearranging iOS to work with that dynamic island display. They are pretty much going to go ahead and you know milk that for as long as possible, just like the notch. This is going to be the new notch. If you look for the next five years, basically from 20. 17 to 2022 apple pretty much you know spent so much money on the notch and now they're going to next take the next five years and focus on that dynamic island display then maybe five years from now they'll totally remove it who knows but that's kind of what i see for the next iterations i think internally they're probably going to have you know they're going to have better clock speeds the 15 is probably going to have the a16 chip and so on and so forth so then you know a year after it'll pretty much keep going you know it's going to be a year old chipset at that point but i think that's probably what apple's going to end up doing it makes the most amount of sense to me pricing wise though i think this could probably be the year where apple's going to go ahead and increase the price tag because they really want people to go ahead and you know get the pro models and this year a lot of people will probably end up getting it and next year there's probably going to be some crazy features that they are going to make people want to go ahead and get that newer phone and the price tag it's probably going to be a hundred dollars more maybe fifty dollars more but that's probably what's going to end up happening so in terms of that that kind of covers it up if you have any other thoughts or questions let me know in the comment section below hit the like button not me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then